In this demonstration, I will show you two popular repositories for Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS. CentOS is a clone of Red Hat Enterprise Linux with any reference to Red Hat removed from its distribution. Throughout this demonstration, I will refer to Red Hat and CentOS as one of the same. So to begin, we will need the following, either Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS. It's worth noting that CentOS are for those that are looking for stability in a distribution that does not have a three to six month upgrade cycle. I will first show you two popular repositories that are available. So the first thing I will do is open up Firefox and go to Google. And I will search for EPEL, which stands for Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux, which is being maintained by Fedora, which is sponsored by Red Hat. And if I click on the first item on the search list, it will take me to Fedora's EPEL repository. Now I will move this browser over and open up another browser and I'll go to Google and I'll type in DAG space RPM and I'll select the first item on the search list and here is DAG's add-on repository for Red Hat or CentOS. Now, if we click on Package Overview, we should get a listing of what's available from DAG's RPM repository. Now, if we move over to Fedora's EPEL, we can get a similar package overview, but first we need to select the architecture. So for this example, I'll select I386. And as you can see, it's slightly different. The packages are grouped. And I'll just click on one of these groups here. I'll click on System Tools. And as you can see, you can get a more in-depth as to what's available within System Tools. Now, if I go back to the groups, I can actually get a full listing by going up to the address bar and removing anything after I386 and we should get a full listing of what's available for the i386 architecture. In this next step, I will show you how to install the EPEL repository RPM onto your system so that you can use the Yellow Dog Updater Modified, also known as YUM, to install whatever packages that you want automatically. Now I went ahead and clicked on how to use EPEL, and now I clicked on the version of Red Hat or CentOS that I'm running, which is a version 5, and under Packages, I'll right click EPEL release, and I'll select Copy Link Location. And now I'll go ahead and open up a terminal. And I'll type in RPM space dash uppercase U V H space. And then I'll paste the link into the terminal. I'll press enter. And now the EPL repository add-on has been added to my distribution. And I can take a look at what's available 
on my system by typing yum repo list and as you can see EPEL has been added to my distribution for this step I will show you how to uninstall the EPEL repository add-on or RPM from your system by opening up a terminal and type in RPM space dash E space dash V V space EPEL dash release. We can now check what our current repositories are by typing yum space repo list and as you can see EPEL has been removed from our system and now we're going to install DAG's repository RPM onto our system so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my windows here and now I'll click on frequently asked question and I'll select how to use this repository and I'll scroll down a little bit and under how to configure to use RPM Forge I'll select the architecture and for this example it's i386 so I'll just copy the whole RPM line and now I'll go back to my terminal and I'll just paste press enter And now we can check real quick what our repositories are on our system by typing in yum space repo list. And there we go, RPM Forge has now been installed. RPM Forge is also known as DAG's RPM. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and remove DAG's RPM or RPM Forge from my system by typing in RPM space dash E space dash VV space RPM Forge dash release. And we can check real quick with repo list and as you can see RPM Forge has now been removed from our system.